beautiful day out of Goose Island. A beautiful day out of Goose Island. <laughs> yes, it is. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkuche And yes, it's continuing on Of our Goose Island expedition out here um, This is my last trip Before I am going under the knife To get a total left hip replacement done If y'all missed the last video that I edited and put out on Goose Island and you're a new subscriber I would highly recommend you going back and watching that video all the way through it leaves you uh, hints on how to win our subscriber giveaway it's free to enter you just got to invest some time and effort into it and believe me any of our subscriber winner packages like this are worth the effort so again guys y'all have a good one and we'll continue on with this video Finally got our first little pull there. Woke everybody up. Everybody was all la la land and night night and. I was making a crap video. Oh, you were editing? Yeah, but you still get sunburned. Oh yeah, you still get the rain. You still get the cold sunburn. <laughs> Yeah, the 
So while we're out here in their environment, you gotta stay very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I saw that big old hammer on the back of Bob Hall, mm -hmm. and I was holding an MXL Raptor with a bait, I looked over, it's like, I ain't, yeah, I ain't even, had too much respect for that hammer to, you know, even try to attempt it, you know? That thing was massive though. Wow, biggest hammer I've ever seen in my life. 13? 14? 14? Easy. Wow. You know the, the two pylons on the left side of the pier? Mm -hmm. you, you know how it has the end ones and then the one in the middle and then it don't have the other one? It was a few feet shy of both of those. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it, I saw a shadow and I was like, what the hell is that? Because it was the sandy brown water mixed with the green, the green water. You know how it has those like clouds? Yeah. Well, I saw some, and then it came up on its side like this. It was swimming sideways. Looking down and up. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, God, dude. The belly area was bigger than the pylon. Like, the pylon, is it looked like this big compared to this. The belly looked like that. It was it, massive. <laughs> massive. I looked at my reels, I was like, which is the closest one that I could, I got a shot, you know? <laughs> and like, all my 80s were out, everything, dude. Like, and then uh, the next day, Poco hit that one down beach. Yeah. That's the one they caught? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, that was a massive fish. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? John Jason from uh, Team uh, River, River, Jetty Rat? Jetty Rat. He caught that one. Real big hammer right there when the ball was already down, but he was fishing just uh, south of it. Yeah. And he caught that big one and it died on him. Uh, all those puffs in it. Yeah. That was a couple of years back. I hit my 13 2 from south of Ball Ball. I was about five miles. Now you can see it in the video when we're releasing, you can see Bob Hall appear in the background. I think I'm still in the 10 foot range from for hammers. I do want that big one though. When I was fishing on uh, Phil's tournament, uh, the Antigua tournament, yeah. the red fish and all that. Hey, come this way so we can we can talk fishing. <laughs> That'd be good. Some good uh, like campfire, but we don't have a campfire stories. Yeah. <laughs> After, there's a campfire on this thing, we might what? end up burning on the pier and everybody can tell you stuff at us. Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll call it after the catch. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we were fishing that tournament, Phil and I, and we were out there on my boat, and we we're fishing in the um, in the Port Eight, uh, on the just on the where the where they park the uh, jetty boats for the north side mm -hmm. for San Juan Island over there. We we're just fishing just just south of that, and uh, I hooked into a big bull red, and the bull red was like over 40 inches. And uh, that's the, that was the biggest hammer I think I've ever seen. When I was fighting that fish, it was coming up, and that hammer was chasing it. And uh, I bought an eyeball was bigger than the, than the red fish. And uh, I told Phil, look at that, look at the size of that dang hammer. And he looked down, and he just, he turned white as day. It was the biggest hammer I've ever seen, but from eyeball to eyeball, oh, that hammer was bigger than that red fish. And I said, man, I said, that thing's 15 foot all day. I didn't, I didn't get to see the hammer on it because he was, he was swimming sideways like this. But the belly, like I said, the pylon was like this big. The belly was like that. Oh, it's like that. And, and he swam right right in front of it like that. So that was perfect. Like you could right there see it. And he was swimming on his side. Like, wow. He's probably that, trying to get some of them sheep heads off the, off the, off the pylon. pylon. Yeah. Looking up and down. Bird down there. And all he would do was just turn and go down. Yep. I've seen black tips, I've seen bulls. Yes. That was my hammer. 
the tiger that one time, crystal clear water. Man, that surfer was running on water back to the shore. I'm gonna sit on this side. Just keep your smoke. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get, I'll get over here. I'll get over here. My bad. The uh, there was that uh, fish, that uh, shark attack yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that we saw. I shared the picture on the on the panel. So. Yeah, that definitely looked like a like a boar or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. it, looked, it looked very small. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, I agree. I'm thinking six foot. Yeah, at least. But he, it was a, it was an accidental bite. Maybe he kicked up the shark or something like that. Because if that shark wanted that foot, he would have been gone. Oh, yeah. It would have been, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, it was, you could see the bite from the bottom of the foot. Just, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, it was probably just a nudge. Yeah. You know, he's just testing the bite. You know what I mean? Not, not even test. He just came up and maybe clumped him. See, that's what bull sharks will do too. They come up and they ram a bait. Yeah. So maybe that's all it was. It was him hitting his foot, and that was it. Not, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I was when I saw it, I was like, man, he would have cleaned it. He would have cleaned that right off the bone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If he would have just closed his mouth, it, all that flesh would have been gone. It, oh, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. It was nothing of the sort of like yeah. he was intending to to, to take it. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. He would have been like that guy. I lost my pinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. That would have yeah. been nasty because they would have taken it at the ankle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. There was that one guy, it was a, I don't know, it was National Geographic or something, but the guy was out in the water with the bull sharks. His clear water was in Florida. Took his calf. Took his calf. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the bull shark bumped him, and then he come, and, and then that's when the bull shark opened his mouth and grabbed that calf on his head. One bite, took the whole calf on him. Yeah, all of it. Gone. All, yeah. It was, his calf was big, and the next thing you see, it was just real thin like that. And you can see his bone. Yeah, yeah it, it took the whole calf. You're talking about like how you shouldn't be and this and that and like it happened to him. It happened to him right there on, on video, yeah. I mean when you're in their territory, you're in their territory. Exactly. Yeah. Like, just like that lady getting bit by that alligator drawer when they were setting up that uh that tent in the water uh, the shade the shade uh, canopy. See that four foot alligator guard bit her in the lake. I heard something about that, but I didn't know the story behind it. <coughs> yeah, she was, uh, they were out in the water setting up a canopy, and she, she, the gar was there, and she got too close to it and stepped on, on the fin of it, it turned and, and bit her. And it left her some nice scratches. I mean, it didn't do no damage like that shark, that shark did, but it did. It, 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 it did leave some bite marks on her. A little bit of uh, the wind he picked up a little bit in that way, but uh, that's good. That's yeah. good position. Yeah. yeah, I don't like to not be able to call. It's the last I turn around and go home. Yeah. Or go somewhere else where you can get some action. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't tend to get very good rounds when it's flat. You gotta have that good chop. I think it helps with the, the visibility so you don't see the leaders anymore. Calm and flat like that, I can just see what you're Kind of avoid it. Let the start. Or you piss one off. Yeah. We used to see that up off off here all the time. Big old schools of bread, drum, trout. All swim, swimming together. Cheap ass foot. Big ones. All slots are bigger, you know? Right. Big old massive cloud just come around the pier like that. Swim through everybody's line. Everybody's line. Just like that. And then all of a sudden, they're. Third, one, third time he does that, when the guy hook up and then brrr, 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 brrr. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they just take one and put them in that feeding frenzy and there it is. Oh, oh yeah. I remember that one time I was in there with that game bait ball and all the black kids hit. Man, I thought they were going to flip me out of the kayak. They are hitting the kayak. Boom, boom, boom. I don't want the kayak to do constantly. Holy crap. So, yeah, I didn't do that thing. I just dropped the bait right and then turned around. And, you know, they, my favorite one was that night that uh, banner race guy was around 3 in the morning. Yeah, it scared me to death. I thought it was going to land on me. It looked like somebody just threw a, like a hood of a vehicle right over the top of me. Free Willy stuff, man. I was just sitting there like... <laughs> I started going. I was like, oh shit. Give me time.
This was like the ones where you cast out and land right in their mouth. You can't even set the drag or the clicker yet and it's already gone. Yeah. I don't know if you get more excitement out of that or when it's hauling, hauling ass. You know. Well, when I caught that permit here, I caught a permit here. Mm -hmm. uh, it was last year. It was last year. Uh, the leopard is ever. And I had a, a live crab on there. I threw it out. And when it picked up, man, it, that thing had the real was just <laughs> me loading up a 10 foot rod with an 8 ounce weight showing how I get it done and how I'm able to cast so far on these piers I'm definitely interested on this because as of right now like I said I am casting out with a bum hip however I've gotten the hip surgery since this video has been done up and I am looking forward to the road of recovery as we speak so it's gonna be awesome and we definitely got the video going that's prior to this one where all our new subs can get referred subs to the channel to win major prizes so don't miss out guys it is coming can't, can't believe we ain't got a crab yet either check out yeah i got this one over here i didn't check over there <laughs> yeah, I gotta pack my bag too for being up there. They want boxers, sweatpants, you know, just loose fitting clothes and stuff. So. I can't wait to not have that pain no more, dude. It, it's constant, 24-7. Just... Right. So just moving around hurts too. Everything, like, everything. Oh, everything. You know, I, I noticed when he walked, you, you can tell big time. And then especially after he did a, a fishing trip where he actually like moved around and, and sat in the kayak or paddled with the, the paddle gear with you. Yeah, you can tell big time. Well, the lift is there.
Yeah, I told that doctor, I said, yeah, man, however this procedure goes, it's going on my YouTube channel, so. Oh, I'll, I'll do you right. I said, I hope so, because. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got a lot of work I still got to do. Yeah. yeah, I'll do this a bit soon, man. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I'm going to have to baby is that, that, that wound from, from them opening it up and stuff like that. Right. Remember that cloud that a few months ago? It was this thick, like like one of those right there. And you saw it just start spinning like this. I was like, oh, I'm going to form a tornado. And it kept spinning and spinning, and getting past and then it just was just Do hmm. you know a cloud go way up to a one million pounds? With all the, the moisture it has? Yeah, with all the water it carries in it? Yeah. I was driving. All I heard was fishing time. I got up clean. Right in time to put the blinker. <laughs> I was like, man, you're gonna owe, oh, don't do it. Don't put the bank credit score. <laughs> Juice is always rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Compounded daily.
thing we're blaming the cute guy for us not catching. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the new guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> too good looking for the fish. <laughs> He's too good looking for the fish. <laughs> He's gonna earn himself a nickname real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what was that movie back in the 80s? Hunk Golden? Hunk? <laughs> yeah, I never heard, no, I never heard of that one. You got me. Yeah, Hunk Golden. Yeah, I never the Incredible that. Hunk. <laughs> you remember that one? Yeah. yeah Bradley it was Green. like a spin off of a uh, Hulk. No, Hunk was a, a nerdy guy, man, that uh, sold his soul to the devil to turn into a, a other guy. And he wrote this, like, program for yuppies or whatever. And he ends up getting, like, a big check to write whatever book he wants. And uh, so the guy that, that signed his name was a Bradley Freeman. There's a bite on that one. Yeah, that's the perch. Yeah. Not big enough to take that food like that. A full little drag. Well, we'll see what it is before we start saying well, that's what we want to catch. <laughs> <laughs> big old hard egg. Big old hard egg. Now. hard egg. I'll pass and race you for You got a cast man in your truck? I don't know. Y'all left him in there now. I'll go there see if I can't catch him on my bait. Huh? If there is, maybe I'll get to see if I can't catch him on my bait. There's a, a little bucket in the back, a little bait bucket. Better, let's check the bag, see if we have anything to set up a small hook. Yeah. Any fish bites? Shrimp fish bites? Yeah, I got shrimp fish bites. Oyster? Uh, normally they're catching they're... oysters out here. Oh yeah, that's some real fishing. Dude, they, some, they'll, they'll grab them. Oh, they'll grab the uh, the weight. No, but I got some uh, sea anemones. Yeah. Oh, soft. Yeah. If it is, I'm gonna put it back on the hook. Maybe catch a big old sheeper. Yeah. Sea anemones. The sea cucumber. All them females do. Huh? All the females do. Yeah. And I just make the sea cucumber in my pants. I think I might have some whiting rigs in there. 
Check my bag. The, uh, I know one thing. Oh, that, that hurt you having to fill down that chicken. Maybe just put the chicken on there. Right. I wanted to go drop chicken at uh, Cold Park. Yeah. Okay, where was it? I didn't even be here. Uh oh. Here we go. Yeah, it's white anyway. Pick it up to your... Uh, you know what to put it on. It's like that. It's cool. I don't see any small small leaves in there. It's probably a problem. Yeah. I'm gonna make a hand line, guys, because we need some bait. We don't know what's hitting on the the perch, but it's definitely hitting. So I've got some yeah. rope. I got one of my whiting rigs that's kind of tangled up because I was moving about. And then that's when you start checking them? Yeah, they start changing the bait. Because, I mean, the, the theory behind the panning holes is it'll keep the little fish from eating everything out of them. Just nitpicking out of it? Yeah. If it had the top part of the shell, I had to take the top part of the shell off. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah, too. Yeah, they hit that though too. It said it hit the water. They hit it. I don't know. There's more scent being put out real fast, and they just smell that instantly, and they're like, "Okay, there we go." Yeah, I've seen that. Or that, or they just want the pictures. Like they, yeah. they, they, they get pictures. Yeah. It's like when you get to a restaurant and you look at the menu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe, we've arrived to the feeding grounds. What do you want to eat? No, they only have crab with shell or the legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want an appetizer fish bites. <laughs> I don't know. It looked good on the menu. It don't look good on the plate now. <laughs> I think we're giving them way too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that one video of the two chicks that are going, and then there's a hook like that, and, yeah. and then one chick disappears, and the other one's like, <laughs> <laughs> That one was hilarious. That was a good one. Oh, you didn't get no fish bites? 
Yeah, yeah I'll pull, right. pull it out of the bag. You just pulled it out of the bag. Here, you need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, like I'm doing all the work. I'm not tying it. You want, uh, what color do you want? I don't care. Mix it. Just mix it up. Whatever's pretty. Whatever's pretty. Okay, this one looks pretty, pretty fresh. Ready. What size do you want? Small. Big fish size. Monster drum size. Uh, the port, salt port offshore. Uh -huh. That that piece of skin, man, it would stay on the hook forever. Got another first. You gotta know. Bring it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's a nice one too. Yeah, okay. Guys, from away, he got stuck. Mm -hmm. He committed suicide. That's how deep it is. Get out of here for real. Wow. Could that thing up water for a truck to be in? And oh, yeah. Right? Just take oh. the big. That's what, they, that's what we were saying with that guy. Yeah. He wasn't right. in that far either, right? He was in waist, I, waist high water. I, I, I seen the, the big, I mean, the picture of it, and I, I was like, man, that guy.